Hey, I'm Jason from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to After Midnight 2. Now, if you don't remember what After Midnight 1 was about, basically, it was about a guy who came to your house after midnight and you had no idea who he was. You were home alone and he was trying to get into your house. We are gonna see what After Midnight 2 is about. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go! Some lady said, We're going to a party and we'll be back into the morning. Can you take care of Drake? Who is that? <laughs> Who's this is just a phase, mom? I'll take care of Drake. Enjoy your dinner. I left the paper on the table with some tasks for you to do. Don't worry, I'll overpay you. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Can you blink twice if you need help? Jesus Christ. Today is Halloween and the kids come asking for candy. I left some for you to give to these brats. Don't worry, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Are you sure about that? Like I said, blink twice if you need help. All right, Jizzy Drake, what do you want to talk about, kid? Do you even want to discuss anything? This ain't Drake, bro. This look like a grown-ass man with four kids and a mortgage, I swear to God. Are you playing pool killer? You're playing pool killer on the PlayStation. That's a grown man. I swear to God, he got more facial hair than me. What's going on here? But I have some candy, and nobody's here at the main door. But we are going to get things started, all right? Because I got to see what time it is. If it's after midnight, then you know it's going to get spooky. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. I'm just really excited. Let me read this. In addition to taking care of Drake, I need you to run some errands. Wash the dishes. Sweep the porch. Take out the garbage from the garage. Giving candies to children. You better overpay me. Like, I better get this baguette. I swear to God. All right. Let's wash that. Let's watch that. I wish washing the dishes was this simple. Like, this is the lazy ass way. This is the J way. This is how I wash dishes. Like, come on now. Don't tell my mom that I wash dishes like this, cause sheesh. All right, so what's next? We need to sweep the porch. Are you shitting on my chest, baby girl? Where's the porch at? Hold on, where the fuck is the porch? Oh wait, the porch is over there? I thought that was called the backyard. I have no idea. Oh wait, look. Little bitch. All right, here we go. Hello, trick or treat kid. Trick or treating. Yes, whatever that means. Here you go. There's some candy, a little brat, according to the lady that owns this house. Drake? Oh shit, where did Drake go? Yo, Drake! Drake, where are you? Show up, I let you play more video games. Drake? Oh, I thought that was Drake. I honestly thought that was Drake. It's just a shoe though. Where's this bitch? Oh, my mother! I'll kill you. Shit, Drake! You scared me! She looks so out of place in this game. You are always scared. It's time for bed, or I'll tell your parents you didn't behave. The man will barely get you. Haha, <laughs> 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 very funny. Now go to sleep. Yeah, you dumbass kid. Put a blanket on, you freaking weirdo. Anyway... I need to finish sweeping the porch. This kid sleeps with no blankets. Man's a weirdo. But let me sweep. Actually, wait. That's not it. Okay, let me go out into the front. Bitch scared the holy ghost out of me. Let me sweep this mother sucker, though. Wait, what? How come I can't... What? Oh, shoot. I'm coming! Just a minute! Hello, little police officer man. Trick or treating! The fuck does that even mean? Alright, let's go. Let's, uh, sweep the porch, take out the garbage from the garage, giving candies to children. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do great things, but this game won't let me be great. There you go. Sweeping, hold, E. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. It would be the most ridiculous if Drake was watching me. Okay, never mind. There's no windows. I was going to say, Drake was watching me from the window and laughing. He's like, <laughs> One more stack of leaves, everybody. And this man better overpay me. Like I swear on Buddha, this man better overpay my ass. Because I'm not doing this for free. I don't do things like this for free 99. But we got that. Come on. See, I don't understand things. That's the garbage from the garage, right? Why can I not take it out? Hold on. Let me read that again. See? Take out garbage from garage. Is anybody here? Yeah. Who the hell are you? Trick or treating. Here's some candy. Okay. So I think I know what this game is doing. I can't do anything 
Just need to take out the trash from the garage. Yep. There we go. But where do I put it, though? Um, I actually don't know where the dumpster is. Is it over here? No? Usually homes have, like, little trash bins. Oh, there's a garbage thing right on that lamppost. Did that even make sense in the English language? I can't even speak the language that I've known and loved forever. Look, there's a trash thing right here. Duh. How did I not see that? I'm just being dumb, everybody. That's my fault. I apologize. Hopefully you all can forgive me. But yeah, we got one more trash to go. And there's barely any trick-or-treaters in this neighborhood. This neighborhood kind of sucks low-key. This should be an easy-ass job. Wait, who's that? Who's that? What the heck? Oh, it's a lamp. Okay, I thought that was somebody looking at me maniacally. What the hell? Who the fuck is that guy? What? Why are you pulling in here? Who's this? Are you my boyfriend? That looked like the girl's boyfriend. It's gotta be. Bro, look at his face. He has that tatted on his face. Come on, man. We're trying to be family friendly out here. I'm a family friendly content creator. That's what they call me. That's definitely her boyfriend. But I'll open the door already. No need to ring the doorbell. All right, whatever. Surprise, baby. I missed you. Steve, what are you doing here? I came to see you. It's Halloween. Let's have fun. I'm taking care of Drake. You can't stay here. Relax, princess. His parents won't be back today. Can I come in? Okay, you can come in, but you need to behave. I promise to behave. Yeah, right. Oh, my lordy. Here we go. Everybody, this is not your type of church cutscene. Close your eyes, cover your ears, hide your kids. Because I'm pretty sure the after midnight guy. He is not appreciative of babysitters not doing babysitting. But yeah, this is something else. Those two characters, they do not look like a good match for each other. She looks like a doll. Like a Bratz doll. And he looked like an asshole. He looked like a bag of the douche variety. And look at this bitch. <laughs> He's just watching us from the window. Steve? Where are you, Steve? I want to make out again. Can I sit on your lap, Steve? Am I supposed to look for Steve? Am I going to get jump scared? Just like what Drake did to me? Probably, huh? Alright, everybody. Be on your best behavior. Because I think that we're probably going to get jump scared, right? Steve! Scuba Steve? Stevie Wonder? Where you at? Where's man's at? Dude. He's sleeping with his eyes open? Okay, I'm coming. Just give me a minute. I need to grab my flashlight. I want to grab a pistol. Because I don't trust these hoes. Oh! <laughs> Poop Killer Jr., what's up? Trick or treating! Here you go. Don't forget to flush. Or he's coming! He's coming for you! I mean, it seems like he already came for you with all those brown doo-doo stains. Steve! Where are you? This is not funny, Steve! Alright. Let's go find Steve. Steve! You better not be dead! Shit, Steve! I know you're hiding! Oh, really? Where's Steve at? Steve? Uh-oh. This is kind of creepy. I'm actually kind of freaked out because I don't want to get jump scared right now. Steve, don't do this to me, Steve. Uh-oh. Hey! This is not a Halloween costume, huh? This man's really like that. He's really him. Trick or treat, little girl. Sorry, sir. The candies are only for the kids. I want to play a joke. There's only you and the boy in the house. The phone line is cut. If you leave the house, I'll kill you. You have two options, and you have little time to decide. If you want to survive, kill the boy, and I'll let you leave. God damn, that's dark. When the church bell rings, it will be midnight. If the boy is still alive, I'll kill you both, and I guarantee you would feel a lot of pain. Is this a joke? It's not funny. Yes, it's a joke. Time is running out! <laughs> is what he would say if he was really about that life. Too bad he's a little bitch. Alright, Steve. Wait, I can't leave for real. Steve? Don't ask that Steve. Wow. Steve's really not here. 
Bro really left me. Oh, Drake! What's up, boy? Who's that man? I am afraid. He'll protect you. Don't be afraid. He was just kidding. He didn't look like he was kidding, and you don't look like a little kid, but we don't know the facts. Stay close to me. Nothing bad will happen. Oh, man. I have to take care of this little dude. He looked like the dude who uh, owns Facebook. What the hell was his name again? <laughs> who the fuck? Oh, my goodness. That's a grown man. You should be protecting me, kid. All right. So, I'm supposed to kill him. But that's extremely messed up. So, obviously, I'm not going to do that. How do I kill you, though, if I wanted to? What am I going to do, everybody? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I guess I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to relax. I'm just going to babysit. I could use that banana as a protection. That's a big bitch. Uh-oh. Drake? Drake? I must kill. I must kill you now, Drake. I mean, grab a frying pan at least. You know, arm us both. One frying pan each. Uh-oh. All right. Shit. I saw a lantern up there. Well, that's not what I would call it, but yeah, I get it. I get the gesture. All right, dude. This is what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to use you as a meat shield. Why are you looking at the wall like that? Why are you so creepy? Can I grab the knifey? Nothing? Oh, my God! Whoa! Drake, I know you're going to be scarred for life, but good Lord. That was creepy as fuck. Okay, that scared the hell out of me. What do I do? <gasps> Drake, hide in the garage. Drake, hide in the bedroom. Drake, hide in the garage. Don't come out. Yeah. What about me? I can't leave. Can I at least lock the door? Come on, that's surviving 101. Drake, okay. Don't leave here. I'll go upstairs and check if everything's okay. Yeah, I'll do that, I think. Holy crap. Is everything okay? I don't think everything's okay. Everything is totally not okay. Oh, fuck. Shit, what was that noise? Mans came in. Mans came through, right? Drake? Wait. Still alive, right, Drake? Okay. Who is here? Oh. Ah! Oh, what the fuck? Yo! Help! Ah! Oh my god! Fuck! Where do I go? It was leading me here. What in the world? <gasps> that made my titty sweat. Huh? No. Oops. Well, Drake's not going to be in After Midnight 3. At least we know that for sure. But still. Why? Can I leave? I think I'm going to die. Because he did say that he's going to kill us both. So, I mean, you know, it, it is what it is. Oh, yeah, pumpkin head. Come over here. Show me that you're really him. Show me that you're him at the. Come on. You know that I know that you're here. Okay. Okay. He's just teasing us. He knows we're down here. Look under the bed. Look under the bed. Look under the bed, you pinche pendejo. Come on. Come on, corner store Freddy Krueger. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Come kneel down and show me something. Show me that ass. Show me that ass. I knew you were going to do that. I was prepared. I was prepared. So, I think I got the worst ending ever. <laughs> Drake got killed. My man got killed. Mary's body was found quartered under the bed. I don't know what quartered is, but whatever. Drake was found in the garage. His body split in half. Good lord. That was a seven-year-old kid. The killer is being sought. Still, no leads. Drake was not seven years old. If Drake's seven, I'm 14. Okay, so we're gonna say Drake, hide in the bedroom. Drake, hide in the room under the bed. Don't come out. But where do I go though? If he can't come out or else, where in the hell do I go? I need a gun, yo. Get under the bed and don't make any noise. Please, don't let that man hurt me. 
I need something to defend myself with. I'm going to kill that son of a bitch. Daddy has a gun hidden in the wardrobe. Are you just saying this to me now? Okay, look. Or okay, I'll look. Bro, come on, man. Come on, dog. <laughs> Yo, you walk in. That's the first thing you see. You're not hiding under the bed, bro. Come on, man. Look, 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 look. look. Pretend I'm the killer. I'm walking up. I turn in. See this man's shit. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> bro, laying down like shit. Sweet. Oh my god. Where did that pistol come from? Oh shit, motherfucker! Ow! Oh! Holy crap, that scared the hell out of me. Where you going, bitch? Bop. Bro! Are you kidding me? What is this? Bro, this is whack-a-mole with a 9mm. Where is this guy? Thank you! Bitch! Stupid! What are you, dumb? You gotta be dumb. You gotta be. Cause there ain't no way that you would just come at me with a freaking 1600 scythe while I have the 9mm freaking locked and loaded, baby! Are you joking me? Mary killed the killer. Yes, I did. And stop calling me Mary. When the police arrived at the scene, there was no body. Dun, dun, dun. Is it possible he is still alive? He just had a pool of blood right there in the front of the door. Like, are you kidding me right now? Alright, everybody, but that is gonna do it for After Midnight 2. I mean, the game was okay, but I laughed a lot, and we had a lot of fun, and usually that's all that matters, and I hope that's all that matters. If it is all that matters, make sure you leave a comment down below telling me that you enjoyed the video, or just leave a like on it. But if you enjoyed this, make sure you give this video one big fat like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cove Scouts is that dude!